Hello, so Elementary OS 5.1 has just been released, so I've installed it to this laptop and we're going to give it sort of a seven day test and review. So today we're just going to set it up and give our first impressions and just get it ready for the week if you like. So let's go. Um, if you've used Elementary before, you'll know what's going on here. If you haven't, it's the Pantheon desktop environment with a plank at the bottom, an application launcher at your top left, which looks like so. You can search it as well. It also has categories if you prefer just to switch through categories as well I'm gonna keep it all spread out like that and then you've got your calendar here and then you've got your sort of indicators and things like that at your top right so um, as you just saw when we opened up the application launcher here it doesn't come installed with a lot so the um, the ISO I think was about 1.4 gig I've also installed tweaks but that's the only thing I've installed and I'm using about 700 megabytes at boot so let's just go into tweaks and change the way it looks a little bit uh, we'll get some themes in a moment so tweaks won't be there if you just install it you'll have to install the tweaks package as well so here's the elementary theme so do they have a dark one here we go let's have a look at their dark prefer dark has it done anything no Let's close tweaks and open it up again. Oh, settings, sorry. There we go. So that's the dark mode. That looks a bit nicer. Let's go back into tweaks. Um, and as you can notice, I don't have any sort of minimize buttons, and I I use minimize. I, you know, I'm not one of these people that <laughs> doesn't. So we'll go into layout and we'll go to windows, and then it will pop them all on the right there for you, which is what I'm more accustomed to. So that's kind of all I'm going to do in tweaks for now. Um, what icons? So we've got the icons there, so it's just the elementary icon theme. I might install some more themes. So let's just quickly install just as just an icon theme. I actually quite like their default dark theme there. So let's just install an icon theme. The um, terminal shortcut is just a super and T, not Control Alt and T. Um, and let's yeah, let's just go for mocker. And let's get a theme for the dock at the bottom. So if we go onto their web browser, so it comes installed with Epiphany web browser out of the box. You're probably going to want to install Firefox or something like that. So here's the um, PPA that I use to install tweaks with as well. Okay, so let's get some let's get a theme for plank or the dock at the bottom. Anyone will do. I'll just go for duh, 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 duh. let's go to one of the top scorers. Let's go for no no no. Let's try this one. Where's that download button? Let's maximize that. There we go, it's hiding. Right, um let's go for slim. No. Slim probably like half a bar. Let's go for cool. Okay, that's done. So if we open that and we'll just extract that into the Plank Themes folder. Oh, so it's a single click to launch icon, uh, folders if you like. So what we'll do is we'll change that to a double click in the settings in a moment as well. So I want to extract that. Let's go to Home. I'm just going to a local, share. Oh, yeah, I'm not used to single click. We'll definitely have to change that. Um, as you just saw in one of those folders is Flatpak as well, so it now comes with Flatpak integration in their app center. Close. So hopefully that's going to show us in the preferences. Let's have a look. There we go. Let's see what this thing looks like. Oh no, it's like a half bar. I want a whole bar. Let's try one of their different variations. So let's try this one. Right. Let's open that up again. Um, also, let's install Firefox while it's doing all of this. Um, we'll use their App Center though. Um, so it's got a lot of updates, their App Center in this release. Um, it's loading very quickly and they make a note of that in their sort of release notes. Oh, what's that doing? Hmm. Okay, right, let's get Firefox so free so there's a pay 
what your one model for certain application what have we got here so install non curated app firefox is not curated by elementary and has not been reviewed for security um i'm not going to show those warnings i'm not too fast actually no we'll keep it on for now um but i know that firefox is fine so let's just type our password in and then that will install firefox and hopefully uh, so that's the app switcher so it takes like a full screen kind of effect and we'll flip through if you press super and down you'll get to like an overlay of all your applications and then you can add desktops and then you can switch between i'm not quite sure what the keyboard shortcut is let's try something okay so that there we go so the shortcuts is your super key and then the directionals so to do a split by left and right just hold control and then your super key with the directionals and it will do that for you okay cool let's close that did we did we extract this let's have a look all right remember single click <laughs> all right let's do it in the same place close okay it's all been quite snappy i haven't really had to wait for anything so far right let's try this one hopefully that's there we go that's a bit better let's make it a lot smaller and let's go onto a different screen okay that's more what i kind of like um i can't remember how to, is it called wing panel at the top of so i can't remember how to change the um sort of adaptive transparency on the top we'll leave it like that for now i think it if you get a sort of a different tone or accent color wallpaper it will give you a bit of a transparency effect it's been a long time since i've used this as sort of a daily distro though right let's get a few more programs that we're going to need to sort of utilize for the rest of the week so let's open up a terminal no we're going to use their app center again actually so let's go back to the app center so firefox has now been installed i do believe so we're going to want caden live to edit these videos um, so that's also a non-curated app but we want to install that anyway um, and we're also going to want gimp let's install gimp install anyway um, does it have steam on their app center yes so let's go for this one here let's also install steam install anyway right let's let them do that and then while it's doing that let's go on to another desktop and let's change this wallpaper so oh, there's no oh, i will tell you what we also want to do we want to make sure that we're not single clicking all the time so maybe if we go into tweaks and go into files single click and let's take that off so now hopefully it will take us a double click to open perfect um yeah it's just preference that i've just i've so used to double clicking that every time I single click it just throws me off a bit that's okay we've got all of our tabs open here so it's a tabbed file browser let's close that and let's have a look at some of the apps it comes installed with program sorry applications so we've looked at app center you have your calculator you have camera we won't do that because it'll be a horrible webcam camera from my laptop code which is just going to be a text editor I assume and we have so Firefox is installed now have a look at their mail um, I'm not gonna sign in can we just show the window without signing in no maybe not okay cool let's keep going system settings Caden lives now installed has it found the icon for it yet no let's open that up again hmm it's not found the icon for Caden live maybe if we open it so it's found it there okay we're missing VLC so let's install VLC that's still going so it's just on GIMP okay we can't do anything for the moment so if you wanted to drag a window over to another desktop you do that and or you could open up another one and you could pop it there and then you can scroll through them like that it's quite pretty it's a nice nice looking distribution right that's just finishing up with Steam okay steam is done can we do anything yet let's go back into search there we go so we wanted vlc didn't we i'm going to assume that's also a non-curated app let's install right so let's just abort that for now 
And let's see what RAM we're using now. So HTOP was installed out of the box, which is nice. Just knocked the mic. We're using 1.2, which isn't too bad. And CPU utilization's at under 10, uh, under about 5%. Right, VLC is all done. So now, if we open up Caden Live, and it's found the icon for us, perfect. Okay, cool. Um, it's not the dark theme. It should be dark, shouldn't it? I've got the um. No, it's not going to do all that. It seems this should also be dark. Let's do a reboot. Um, and maybe it needs the reboot to sort of refresh itself and catch the dark theme and all of the apps, and then we'll get a sort of memory reading on what we're using at boot. And then I'll cut the video there, and as I say, I'm going to use it for a week for just everything I'd use my laptop for, and then we'll see how we go. Um, and I'll yeah, I'll come back with a video after seven days. So I'm just going to do a quick reboot now. Hopefully, um, the app center has finished everything it was doing. Um, sort of boot times, uh, kind of what I'd expect on a sort of Ubuntu-based distribution, to be honest. Okay, it should just be coming on now. Okay, now we're back. All right, let's open up the terminal and see how much RAM we're using. So 659, that's pretty good. Right, and then we want to see if the theming has actually taken the dark variant. So let's open up Caden Live again. Bang, there we go. No, yeah, it's got a black bar. I mean... Hmm. Let me open up their note apps again. Maybe not every app has dark. Let's open up code, it was called, wasn't it? Nah. I'll tell you what, let's install Arc Theme. I'd like to have a bit more. Let's see if that'll make more of the applications darker. It shouldn't take too long. And then we'll go into tweaks and see if that looks a bit better. Okay, so let's go to GDK and we'll go to Arc Dark. So settings has gone dark. Let's see if code has. There we go. So code's gone dark. Let me just close Caden Live and we'll see if Caden Live has also got dark with the Arc. I'm going to assume it does. So hopefully everything's got a nice. Ah, Caden Live, what are you doing to me, man? Okay, well, let's just pretend Caden Live doesn't exist at the moment. Let's open up GIMP as well. Oh, 2.8. It's an old version. Okay, let's, um, let's put that into single window mode. Okay, cool. I'll probably uninstall that and install GIMP from like a dev package or something like that. But yeah, um, that's me sort of kind of moved in for now. Um, let me just change this wallpaper as well. I'm not going to download one now, I'll just go on to their defaults. So as I say, I'm not getting any right click on a desktop, so they don't have right click. So let's open up settings. Yeah, so I'm going over there. Appearance, all settings, desktop. There we go, this is the wallpaper I remember. Um, let's try this one. Hmm, not bad. Uh, I'm just going to chuck it on here for now. I've used this one before. Um, hold on a minute. Let me just try something else. There we go. That's what I was trying to get it to do. So you see the top bar? It's now got a bit of transparency. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to come back in about a week. We're gonna, I'm going to use this for everything I would normally use it for. Nothing else apart from sort of my desktop. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I shall see you in seven days.